Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome back to Abrar Knowledge Channel. Today's topic is box plot and interval plot. And this video I will be explaining from mini tab, particularly from graph menu. And also I will be explaining the flip side. What is the difference between graph menu if you wanted to plot box plot and interval plot and also from stat menu, right? So both the things you will get the best understanding as such. So this is 30th lesson in many tab and 62nd lesson in lean six sigma lesson as such. Let's have a go. So this is the data set I have taken uh, across all the cities. And this is the minimum, maximum temperature and average you have for all the four seasons winter, summer, monsoon, and post-monsoon, and yearly round of values, and average value also you have. So this is the data I have taken from Wikipedia, climate of India. So thanks to Wikipedia for having such a constructive data as such. So this is the data, I charted this data, I'm just going to have only the average value. Uh, so from this, only the average value I have taken, and uh, this is the categorical data I have, which we are going to discuss more in detail. So just before I go and explain demo using many tab, so let me give you how the navigation goes. For example, if you go to graph, you will find something called box plot, yeah? So in this one, let me tell you again. So where you will find in the graph menu, you will find box plot and also interval plot, both the plot, I will be explaining. So coincidentally, both the windows will have four options. One is called one Y, that one, only one particular season, for example, whether it's a winter or summer or month, so you wanted to read the only one pattern, then you can pick up one Y. If you wanted to- I didn't understand that. If you wanted to pick up multiple one, then you can definitely pick up the with group and so on, right? So multiple wise, uh, simple. And if you wanted to have a multi, in, in our case, we need to go for multiple wise. Why? Because we have four season in India, right? And with group, and again, if you wanted to do add a little bit more grouping and panel, then you can use with group as such. Very interesting. So box plot, this is the, uh, just a broader idea. Uh, box plot without panel. So this is uh, just summer. Uh, value, uh, what is the sum, winter, summer, monsoon, and post monsoon, what the value goes. And this is gives like uh, the high level picture. This is the uh, temperature uh, and, and, and then you also have how the temperature goes, right? Another one is called box plot with panel. If you wanted to select city or any variables, then you can go for that also as well, right? For example, in this case, I have picked up city. So that means panel variable called city. So it gives like this. Now, if you want to go further more, if you wanted to add little bit more category, right? If you wanted to have summer categories, for example, in this summer category, if you wanted to have uh, like cool, hot, moderate temperature and all that, you can also have that also as well. So, uh, and again, you want all four together. You want city-wise data, you want temperature, cool, moderate, and winter-wise and all that. This is the uh, way we need to go. Multiple-wise, panel, and grouping it too. And uh, so, and also do watch the stem and leaf uh, video, which will give you more understanding on how to find out the median. From below the median is called low temperature, high temperature, and all that. Very easily we can identify that. Descriptive statistic, fast way of calculating the statistic, mean, quartile one, quartile two, IQ, and so on. Code, I mean, there is something called in data, you know, you have a code, you can change from number to text and all that, right? So what is gonna come up in the next is control chart, particularly I will be talking about how to omit the uh, outlayer and how to identify the outlayer and uh, how to go and arrest the, uh, and outlayer and so on that and how we can also use uh, this use this uh, can be useful for prediction also as well so let me just have a go to mini tab so in the mini tab i have older version mini tab 17 
and this is the value this is all the city there are 14 city and in the uh, winter this is the uh, temperature has been recorded down summer monsoon post monsoon i also have rounded up value average of all the season i have just rounded up this value here and also i have given category for example anything uh, six uh, in in a certain value median median is in this case 14 uh, anything below 14 say cool uh, moderate 15 to 20 uh, 25 24 and 25 you're going to say heart and uh, and then i mean um, uh, moderate and anything beyond 24 or 24 and beyond 24 i think i set it up different values i guess but okay anyway so we can just split down the data uh, as per our requirement let me see what data i have split okay so we can we can just uh, this coding you can do uh, with your uh, yourself so you can also watch another video which will give you on how to identify how to uh, do a category with the help of code as such okay so let me start how to do box plot so you remember the navigation the navigation is very simple graph go to graph box plot and then since we are dealing with something called if i want only one y let's say i wanted to find out average of of the temperature only y6 right c6 right then you can just take only this one right then and then uh, there is something called uh, grid lines uh, if you wanted to have you can do that and multiple graph if you wanted to have by variables you can say by variables by panel uh, let's say this is the value it gives i have not added the panels this is the value it has given so average of all these value right overall temperature for india like say quarter one median point we have 23.5 uh, is the temperature and then quartile 117.25 q3 25.75 the range between uh, q3 uh, and q1 is 8.5 uh, centigrade right so this is the value you want now you want by city also as well no problem so you can go to city i mean click this one and then you can add the multiple graph by variables i'm going to add the city right and then city wise also you will get so we are dealing with only one remember we are dealing with only one uh, variables right only one value so it, for example uh, this is the value let me just add some uh, reference line let's say i added the reference line 22 so 22 that means chennai is hotter and you have another Srinagar is the coolest and Lucknow is slightly moderate and so on and so forth. This is the, uh, you know, one bigger picture you wanted to go. So this city wise. So that is only one variable we played with it, right? So now let's go to another uh, thing, the same thing. Let's add more variables. So this is only one we added. Fantastic. Now we're gonna do multiple wise, right? Why multiple wise? One column is considered wise, like one is C2, C3, C4, C5. I have right. So multiple wise. So you can go to this one, and I will give F3 because I have already practiced this one. So if you can select these, there are two ways. You can double click it, the value will come down. That is one way. Or if you would you don't want this one, you can just shift shift down you will select all four value and then you can give okay and then this is without any panel right this is without any i have not added any panel so it, it just give that how beautiful it has come for example in, in in winter in india specifically in winter the values uh between the shuffle the median point is a 15.5 and below 15 it start like eight uh, temperature the maximum temperature we also get it like 23 and so on and so forth right <laughs> beyond that also we get it and summer it goes a little bit hotter right and if you say monsoon has has got a very small range if you look at the range one is only five degree of uh, shift right and then again post monsoon also you get the same thing so this is one way i have not added the panel let me add the panel what do you mean by panel i wanted to see the same thing with the help of uh, the other chart, like, you know, with the city also as well. Just click last edit window. So how I did, you can go here, edit last dialog or control E you can give. And then multiple graph. In the multiple graph, in the panel, I'm going to select city, right? 
let's see how it has come so it has come uh, like again it has given very good so maybe i can have that temperature 22 as uh, the reference point right reference line 22 and then it has see that uh, the bangalore is uh, slightly uh, moderate always moderate but srinagar always uh, coolest and uh, again live also cooler than srinagar and chennai is always hotter and so on so easily we can make out that one so whether it's winter is slightly the values is above 20 even summer above 25 uh, in monsoon about uh, 25 again and post monsoon slightly you know uh, the value comes like uh, here you have 28 or something in that the, the median is 28 so it, this is how we can easily understand the you know temperature or if you have multiple variables we can easily understand that as such so this is first thing what i did i just added the graph then i added the panel let me add the grouping also as well how to add the grouping very very simple you can give control e and maybe i will uh, i will take another time box plot uh, with group where you will get the grouping right with group you have again i will give f3 so that all the value will go off and and i will select all four values grouping let me add the grouping called summer category right and again multiple graph i'm gonna add city right let me add without a panel okay so this is the value it has got cool temperature and in hot and uh, in, in, in the winter and then if you look at the uh, summer the, the cool temperature itself goes like beyond eight and goes uh, to extreme and then comes down maybe i will add that uh, again the reference line so that easily you can read this chart as such yeah yeah so easily we can say more or less uh, moderate value and all that we can easily find it out so i have just added grouping let me add uh, there's something called panel if i add the panel what will happen there is something called i can also bifurcate the values by cities also as well let me add the go here and let me add the city also as well right so now you can see here beautiful graph uh, it has uh, three factors one is called city wise one is called cool hot boundary temperature it also has something called uh, winter summer monsoon post monsoon like this and the panel available is city like this we can easily uh, do that uh, you know the box plot let me go back to this one uh, the worksheet this is the worksheet i have now you would have understood very well the box plot first we did with only one y and we just uh, saw only the average value of all the uh, all the average value and then we went to multiple y's in multiple y's we did two things one we did with only uh, panel another one we did grouping and another time we did it both panel and grouping we did together right and now let's do that second chapter second uh you know topic of my today's uh, video is on interval plot interval plot also very beautiful one again it has got four option one y one y meaning like if you want only c6 right average of all these only one thing if you want you can do that right so this is the only one the temperature it has been the median point is mean is 21.10 this is mean value right in box plot we saw median value right so let's see i will add one more like i did this graph i will add uh by variable i will add by maybe city i'll add it let's see how it goes again so it has given what it has given it has given the for example mean value again mean value it has given for example bangalore it is 24 uh, bhopal it is uh, 23.75 chennai is 30.75 is an average for the entire year okay and then let me go a little bit uh, deeper so let me go to interval plot now you would have exp uh, now you would have understood uh, one simple one with grouping also the same thing where you can add the category for example same thing let's say average one and then you can add the category right so this is how you will get it so summer cool tem temperature what it will get hard and moderate like this easily you can uh, get this value right 
let me add again the reference point so that will be easy for you yeah so this is the uh, one you will get it okay let's do uh, the multiple one so multiple wise we can deal with it right so how to do very simple go to a graph and interval plot multiple wise and simple let's say we'll do simple give f3 so that all value go off and i'm i'm selecting all four and uh, again so instead of i will select the panel panel and give okay again all these value in terms of mean value we got the other one what we saw was median now here we talk uh, 95 percentage confidence interval for the mean right so again it has given the same thing let me quickly do that uh, comparison the other chart box plot the same thing i do it uh, so i'm going to give the same thing and here you will find so the topic is uh, here the median this is median right median you will get uh, and the, the difference between box plot is more useful than interval plot interval plot only gives an average value but box plot gives more specific information like what is your median value what is your quartile one what is your quartile three what is the range what is the whisker value what is the n value all these deeper it goes so I strongly recommend you to try box plot just to give you comparison between both the plots. That's the reason I demonstrated. Let me go back to the previous topic, box interval plot. Let me try the last one is grouping. Let me try that. And, and then I'm selecting all these value. Okay. And grouping is by summer category. And panel, let me give a panel called city. That's all let me see how it has come so all these value it has come right so this is very very useful uh, you can do directly from the graph menu so you can also do with the help of stat menu right so how to do very very simple and it is, this is slightly faster but actually you will get uh, almost the same way for example start you have many uh, basic statistic display will display both the one display statistic let's say i will give f3 and you wanted to go for winter and uh, and then you wanted to add the city you can do that and you can also if you want any other layer like you want mean you want first quartile median all these you wanted to see first like interval plot only mean the box plot only the uh you know you will get a box plot with the you know uh you you median quartile one quartile you, you want all these in one go right you can also come back to this and do that if you have more you can do that if you minimum maximum range and the n value percentage all these you can easily easily very really do that let me select the graph i'm going to go for three graph one is called bell curve one is called individual value plot box plot so this video is about individual box plot i mean individual value plot and box plot let me give okay and give okay so I got two graph here. One, this one, this is the comparison between both the graph. One is called individual values. These are all only the mean value. For example, Amrista, uh, the value is, uh, let me see. Uh, so this is the value goes down. Maybe I will, again, one more time, I will do a reference line. okay so this is the one and if you want this are all median and all that right so like this also you can do both the ways we can do and if you want to know the value for example stat window you wanted to know particular values you can also do that so for example if you wanted to have the histogram with the normal one also you can have the third one so third one let me see yeah so again it has recorded all these values everything right you can also do this way also as well you you got many multiple options you can do anything you you like so right so i hope you enjoyed this video on box plot detail one with there is one by multiple by with panel with groups in detail we discuss and we also discuss the same feature also there in the stat uh, you know we also discussed that one. I know I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. 
you have wonderful day ahead